Hey guys, it's Diana, Scrap and Mama 3 in PA, coming to you with a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree. I needed to pick up some um, items. My daughter is doing Penn State's um, Don next weekend. It's um, like a dance thon, a dance um, dance a thon all weekend next weekend, and she um, she had danced two years ago, but. Um, this year she is going to be a like a supporter of a dancer so she needs to make up some goodie bags for her dancer um, just to give her dancer some inspiration and to try to keep her going some little things to have her be able to do over the weekend as well as um, they do little things with the um, the, the, the thon is a um, dance marathon where they raise money for children with pediatric um, uh, they raise funds for pediatric cancer um, so the children that have cancer are at the dance marathon too um, these are children that they have sponsor they sponsor um, all the time they do things with the kids they do things with the families so um, it's a huge event um, there's going to be 700 kids uh, college kids that dance that have raised the funds and like I said and then the kids that they that they sponsor um, the pediatric cancer patients all come as well so again it's um, a huge event and um, so she's making up goodie bags to support her dancer um, and um, I just picked up some items so one of the first things I picked up was this um, journal for her and it um, it just says it always seems impossible until it's done and one of the things like I said she's to um, be inspirational to her dancer and help her dancer stay motivated so she can dance. They dance for 46 hours the entire weekend and you know, my daughter will be there um, not the whole 46 hours with her dancer but she'll be there a lot of the time uh, to motivate her and help her um, stay um, focused on dancing or stay you know inspired to continue to dance. Then I got this magic putty um, they do um, color, they call it color wars. So each of the teams have a color and her team is red. So I got this magic putty. And like I said, it's um, just to have them do activities so they can stay busy and, you know, stay not focused on the fact that they've been awake for 24 hours and that they're, you know, dancing and that they're tired and that their feet hurt and all that. So this is some magic putty that um, she can put in some goodie bags for you know her dancer um, or they can use it to um, do some activities with the um, younger kids with the little kids this is a massager that she can use um, to uh, keep her dancer um, you know um, they give their dancers massages they um, help them in whatever way they can to keep them motivated to keep dancing so I got that um, I got these uh, red latex balloons, so again, just something for them to blow up and play with and have fun. Got these red um, whistles, um, so she can take those and um, give those, I guess several of them, so she can give those to her dancer or give them to the um, kids. I got um, Kleenexes, uh, so they have the Kleenexes for, um, they do inspirational stories with the um families of the um, children and if you want to look it up you can look up on YouTube the Penn State Thon and they have all kinds of um, YouTube videos about it and like I said the Kleenexes they um, it's just very emotional at times so um, I told my daughter you know pick those up so she can throw those in the goodie bag for her um, and also they look kind of silly with the emojis on to make them laugh. And I got her this picture frame that she can um, put a picture of her and her dancer in to give to her dancer. Uh, maybe as her, you know, one of her last gifts, you know, telling her dancer thank you, you know, for, for what she's done. Or even if she gives it to her first um, with her and her dancer or with her and her, um, like my daughter's... Um, uh, supporter the year that she danced gave her a picture of 
my daughter with the two um, kids that they that their organization sponsored. So when my daughter started to, if my daughter felt like she couldn't continue to dance the weekend that she was dancing, then she would look at her picture that she had with the um, two little girls, and she said, you know, that helped her to continue to dance. So I got that frame. I thought that would be good for that. Then I picked up some um, things for myself. I picked up these blank cards, um, you know, 10 cards with 10 envelopes for a dollar. You can't beat that. So they had three packs left. I got all three packs. I picked up this linen cardstock. It's the first time I saw it, and um, not sure if I'm going to like it or not. So I just picked up the one pack, but I might pick up some more. And then I picked up some cupcake liners to do some embellishments if I get a chance before Valentine's Day or, you know, just throw them in my stash and use them next year. But I thought they were cute because they have the hearts on the outside. Um, and, or maybe I'll use them to make cupcakes, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I thought a dollar was a great deal for that. So that's my small haul and I hope everyone's having a great weekend. Take care and um, I'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.